Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here in a very interesting situation. Oh, thank goodness they finally started running! That was just really creepy, you guys! For the longest time, while we were hunting this elk, we just had that entire herd of elk staring at us. They weren't moving. They were trying to defend each other, even though they had a very sick and weakened member with them. But thank freaking goodness we were finally able to go ahead and just like take that spot over. I was really intimidated by staring down that wall of like hooves. But welcome back, my friends, where we are here with our boy, Atlas III, doing our best to claim some territory from the newly risen Blood Moon pack. Atlas has actually just woken up with the dawn. He's getting pretty tired, but we have already gone ahead and done a little bit of hunting. We'll want to bring... Hey, back off. I don't even see what you are. I think you're a little fox, but you need to back off a little thing. Wait. That's not a fox! This is not a fox! What the heck? So the, I think the elk actually ran away because there's a cougar here, not because there was a fox or or not because of our howling. They weren't intimidated to buy us at all. All right, we'll have to figure out how we can... Wait. Did, did you guys just see that? Did you just see the hearts go up? Atlas, I really don't need you having a really weird relationship with this cougar. You're nowhere near your family. So there's no reason, like his mate is still like way far away from us back at the den. I do not need weird wolf cougar hybrids. That's our laboratory series, sir. This, ever since the rise of the Blood Moon pack, which is the Crevice Lake pack over here, things have just been escalating very quickly, like in the weirdest ways. All right, I think we're technically in a fight with this cougar. Or we're like totally in love with it. I we're gonna have to be very careful. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can steal some of this. Oh, just one scent mark. We'll go ahead. All right. We're gonna give that cougar a little bit of space, and we'll go ahead and we'll scent mark really quickly because this is our territory now, and we earned it with all of the weird creepiness that just happened, as hilarious as it was. Uh, and we're actually looking for a teddy bear. So we were smelling this weird scent of a teddy bear right after we ended up scaring away um, an actual like bear. So let's see if we can find this teddy bear and take it back to the den. And then we need to return to Breeze's side before Atlas gets any more weird ideas. I know that was probably just pack affinity going up. But just the timing of like howling and growling at this cougar and then suddenly Atlas is like, oh hi. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I know what one of our laboratory episodes will be this week. And oh, look what we found, you guys. It's a little blue teddy bear. What the heck? Okay, I want to get just at the right position. And we're just continuing to stumble on mystery after mystery with Mr. Atlas here. What you are getting us into, sir, I, I hesitate to decide, but let's grab this. Nice. We have now unlocked the teddy bear achievement. Terrifying cub carcass, un understandably abandoned by parents. <laughs> oh, and even though I'm dubious about this thing and the snow is getting much thicker, so it's harder for him to run through. Let's go home. We're gonna curl up with our cubs. Or our pups, sorry about that, not our cubs. We're, we're carrying we're carrying a weird abandoned bear cub in a way. But in, like this is kind of fun. I like imagining that we're bringing it back to our pups and we're explaining like, this is what a bear kind of looks like, except not so blue. <laughs> All right, and we'll have it for our pups to be able to potentially play with. And then we're gonna take a nap because I feel like Atlas is like, I've been seeing some things lately. Maybe if he just sleeps, things will get a little better. Good grief. Atlas, you've had the most interesting series of adventures. All right, there's Breeze. Let's drop this right over here. How are the pups doing? Tiny bit hungry? Who gets hungriest fastest? Let's see. Echo and Zephyr. Whisper, not so much. But Whisper is actually the smaller of the three. <gasps> Was she about to play with the teddy bear? What the heck? That would have been so cute to see. Okay, this is not so cute to see. Whisper is playing with the teddy bear, which is really cute. But Zephyr, Zephyr, you need to go inside. Zephyr, get inside. Zephyr, get inside. 
Okay. Okay. Now we have an eagle attack. Okay, good. Alright, he is inside. Is that two eagles? What's that? Just snow. Could that be two eagles? Can you have two eagles? I mean, hunting at the same time with you? Guarding your den? There's another one! Okay, every bird is sus right now. Pups are still in the den. Where's that terrifying teddy bear? Are you unlucky? All right, the pups are okay, but for just a second there, I was thinking maybe this is a cursed teddy bear. All right, we're gonna let them come out. We're gonna let our boy Ai go ahead and rest. And he's just kind of having a time of it, isn't he? I hope we didn't bring home like a cursed object to our children. That would not be the best thing. Definitely very story rich, but not the best thing. All right, look at you guys. Is everybody full? Zephyr and Whisper need to eat a little bit more. But they don't seem terribly interested at the moment. They're just being really preciously cute. All right, there we go. Echo. Echo's so playful. Like, they're all so cute. Oh, you guys, look at the family. Oh, that is one thing about having fewer pups. I really do feel like we end up being able to bond with them a bit more. All right, and Zephyr is eaten up. So I think we can go ahead and everybody can rest. Breeze is coming by. Look at their little flop ears. Oh, be still my heart. Their ears are even cuter and floppier when they sleep than ever before. Oh, geez. All right, in the den. The snow still hasn't melted, but we sleep inside the den when it rains because I don't want to have to have us move dens too quickly. And if you sleep inside, I think that you're at least aware of the rain, so there's less a chance of flooding. All right, let's get in here. There we go. And back to sleep. Man, what a dramatic time for Addy. Just trying to mind our own business. Then we have a whole herd of elk facing us down. The moment in which the hunter might become the hunted. Sort of terrifying. And it's raining so much, I'm really worried about flooding. I really hope this wasn't a cursed teddy bear that we brought home. Slightly concerned. All right, and we gotta push back against the Blood Moon pack a little bit more too. But especially if we're hoping to take over the Moss Rock Den if we really need to. But all right, let's go strengthen that territory up. And how are our pups doing? They're a little hungry, so let's feed them first. Whisper is dragging behind her siblings a little bit more now, but I think it'll be okay. All right, do I have food to feed them? The meat chunks I had are gone, so I'm assuming that means that Breeze has actually been eating. And maybe we'll go ahead and we'll bring Breeze with us this time. Here we go. Come on, pups. You can come on out. Come eat, come eat. No, you guys, come out. <laughs> I don't think they want to be out in the rain, which is kind of cute. Come on. Yeah, there you go, Echo. Here you go, Whisper. Come and eat, and I would love to see you play with the teddy bear at some point. And we might bring Breeze with us this time. <laughs> You're supposed to be mute, Breeze! But in her heart, she is definitely singing the song of the, these wolves. Because we'll probably just strengthen this territory. All right. And Echo is being her little Echo. I love it. And then let's make sure their brother gets some food too. Oh, he's out of food. There you go, little one. The elk we killed, I didn't bring any like meat back from, but we did get a teddy bear, which is kind of fascinating. All right, and we'll play with Whisper. While we go ahead and we wait. Oh. Zephyr is easily distracted from his food. I think that he just really loves to hang out with his parents. All of them seem super snuggly and cuddly right now, though. Oh, and Breeze is having a good time? Okay. Wait, Breeze. All right, let's go ahead and chin rest. Yeah, the whole pack- Oh! Are we doing- We're doing more two-headed wolf nonsense again! <laughs> you guys, this is why we have the rumors!
news, the chaotic rumors that the coyotes are like, no, really, there is a two-headed wolf out there. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just because we're doing such a good job of protecting our little ones. All right, everybody full? Everybody's pretty full. So, all right, back inside, you guys. I hope it doesn't flood while we're gone. And then we're going to head to the west and to the north to try to claim some territory. We can't howl if Breeze is with us, unfortunately, but I think just scent marking will get us most of the way there this time. All right. Everybody in the den? Everybody's in the den. I think Breeze is a really good mom because it seems like the pups are particularly ob or obedient. I know in Addy's like generation, he had a lot of siblings who would not stay in the den for anything. I really thought that Addy's dad was like gonna lose so many more of those pups, but Lark, Lark did his best. Lark sacrificed his life for his pups in the end. And I will never forget like generation four of our Dawn Moon pack. That was, that was pretty dramatic. All right. So how are we doing? Good. Veer a little bit more to the west. Any scents? Not really picking up any particular scents at the moment, other than breeze. Because it seems the wind is actually coming from the other direction. But we'll start going north and maybe we'll pick up some scents while we run. Alright. Please don't flood, Den. Please don't flood. For once we actually had a good night's sleep too. No doubt because Addy feels snug and safe and tucked away. Hmm? Interesting. I thought I heard something, but so far so good. Alright, yeah, but no doubt because Addy feels snug and safe and like all tucked away when we are actually in a cave. Alright, don't smell or hear anything. I don't like being... Like, it really is having one of your senses be blind like this. So I think maybe we'll actually head over to the east. Even if that starts pushing... Well, we'll go a little bit more north and then kind of play around with the northeast. Because I want to make sure that we're not losing any valuable information about what to expect. Oh, there's a den. Okay. See what I mean? Valuable information. A hair carcass nearby. <gasps> you can smell our fishing pole and our teddy bear. Huh. That may not be the best, because I don't want that to get to some of the other wolves. So if you can smell our fishing pole and our teddy bear from like here, that could be a bad sign that it's going to attract the other wolves to us. In fact, was the den we smelled our own den we're currently in? Because if so, that could be really bad. All right, let's go ahead and offer this to Oh, Breeze is starving, you guys, because we haven't been bringing her out on the hunts with us. What the heck? Breeze, eat up. Okay, we're going to need to go ahead and find her some food. She's just been letting the pups have all of it. She really is a dedicated mother. All right. If we can only stumble on rabbits, that would actually help to fill her up a little bit. Not as much as you want, but at least a little bit. And I guess that means we're going to veer out of the way, and we're going to be looking for these mule deer now. All right, mule deer this way. And let's see if we can hunt one of these down for Breeze, because she needs to eat. Are we going to find one at the last moment? 40 minutes ago? 30 minutes ago? What's this? Wait, what? Did Oh, wait, there's another den over here! Abandoned fox den in the Prospect Peak territory. Oh, man. All right, we need to hunt those those deer or at least something to eat soon but smelling another den is important because it could be a spot where the other wolf packs so we say for the roleplay of it all might try to go ahead and move in so we really oh there we go a little bit more food for breeze we do really want to track down all of the dens that we can all right here you go breeze hopefully that will take the edge off her hunger oh wow look at the stars tonight you guys oh that's amazing all right. Did that take a little... That took a tiny bit off her hunger, but we really need to try to find her some better food. And apparently we're not as close to the den as I thought we were, but we're on a mission to go ahead and try to locate it. 
So if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful Breeze and Addie. They're out on an expedition that I think will be pretty fruitful. Hopefully. Oh, the is the wind changing on us? Really? <laughs> I think the wind is changing on us just as we're trying to find this abandoned den. All right, we'll keep an eye out and we'll try to find her some food pretty soon. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. Oh, hi, Breeze. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.